Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will teach you how to make this exact render in Blender EV using volumetric lighting. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first step of this tutorial is to download Blender 2.8 or above, which you can find in the description, so that you can use the new real-time render engine in Blender called EV. This is a very basic tutorial, so even though Blender might look a bit different by the time you watch this tutorial, you will still be able to follow the tutorial. Okay, so start off by scrolling down to sampling and increase the amount of samples in the viewport and in the render. So let's set it to 300. And to get volumetric lighting, we need to scroll down to volumetric and enable it. And then change the tile size to 2 pixels so that uh, the resolution of the volumetric lighting is higher. And then uh, turn on bloom as well and decrease the radius. And the bloom is basically the same as glow. So when you change the radius for the bloom, you change the radius for the glowing effect for the object later on. Now, we're going to use the cube as the domain for the volumetric lighting. So let's start off by scaling it. So click S, X, and then 9. And then S, Y, then 3.5. And I click S, then set, then 8. To scale it 8 times on the set axis. You don't need these exact dimensions for the domain, but it's always nice to have a step-by-step -step guide. So uh, make sure to open a new window and then go into the shader editor and then click X to delete the uh, principal shader and then click Shift A and search for principal volume which we need for the uh, volumetric lighting and then connect it to the uh, volume of the material output and when you go into rendered view you will see that we now have volumetric lighting but uh, right now we just have a small point lamp so we need to go into the uh, lamp settings for the lamp and then change it to a spotlight and then change the energy to a thousand and then change the radius to 25 centimeters and make sure to write cm afterwards because if not you get meters which will look completely different and then change the size to around 50 degrees to make it thinner and then let's increase the blend value as well okay so now we need to rotate the lamp and grab it. So click G to uh, grab. And then click R, then set to rotate the lamp on the set axis. And uh, then click R to rotate once again. And left click to confirm. Okay, so let's go into the world settings and change the background color. And make it completely black. Like this. And then we can finally add the object. So click Shift A. And then I'm going to add a monkey. You can obviously add whatever object you want. And then let's add a material as well. So uh, go to the materials, click new, and change from principled to uh, glossy. And uh, then I'll set the roughness to 0.5 and then give it kind of a golden color. And then we need to add the subdivision surface modifier. So click add modifier and then subdivision surface and then increase it a few times until the surface is smooth. And then click G, then Shift Y to grab the object only on the X and Z axis. And then left click to confirm. And then I'm going to rotate the uh, monkey. So click R, then set to rotate the object on the Z axis. And then click R to rotate once again. And if you click on the uh, button next to overlays, you can actually hide the lamps and the axis from the uh, viewport so that we get the uh, pure render. And uh, let's uh, look through the camera. So click number zero to look through the camera and then select the camera. And uh, then let's move it to so click G, then hold in and drag the middle mouse button to move backwards. And you can also click N and uh, enable lock camera to view. And by locking the camera to view, the camera will follow your point of view. So uh, let's move the camera to this position and try to get the light at the uh, left corner of the camera and then disable the uh, lock camera to view so that we can rotate the camera. So let's select the camera and then click R to rotate. So something like this and then left click to confirm. 
Now, obviously, the rotation of the camera and the color of the monkey doesn't really matter. So uh, I'm speeding up this part, where I uh, change the colors and the rotations. And I ended up with something like this, and clicked S to scale up the monkey a bit. And then the next step of the tutorial is to render the image. So uh, before we do that, let's just go to File, and I click Save As, and create a file wherever you want on the computer, and I click Enter to save. And I go to Render, and I click Render Image. And then after a few seconds of rendering, you will have a high sample version of the uh, image that you see in the viewport. So uh, let's wait until it's done. And once the rendering is done, you can go to the uh, UV image editor. And then open the image next to new. And I click render result. And here's the result. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll post a new EV tutorial very soon. So thanks for watching and subscribe.